Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to tell you a story about five things you must do in salsa in order to become better. Trust me, these are extraordinary tips and are very important no matter the level of a dancer. If you don't know me, I am Marius. Be sure if you like what we are doing on this channel to subscribe, like, comment, share it with your friend and if you have, you can support us on Patreon because YouTube monetization sucks. Also today I've launched my new website salchatadojo.com. In it I will post premium materials and tutorials, whatnot. Right now it's still under construction, I have some issues with it, but soon it will be live and you will be able to purchase premium materials so you that become the best version of yourself. Let's get to it. Today I said I am going to tell you about five things that you must do in salsa in order to progress. And these are like five basic things that are not practiced enough. I practice 25 hours a day. First, let's start with the feet. Always, always until you are very good at it and then you do whatever you want, always start training. The first thing, and it's very important, it's how you step on the floor, okay? So you always need to train rolling your foot from the ball of your foot to your heel and not step like that. After you, get, you become a master at it, after you become really good at it, you can adapt your steps however you want. But the basic technique that will help you is rolling the foot on the ground, okay? Doing this, not this. Okay? Especially on the one, two, three, six, seven. Okay? Because five is an exception. Exception. So you roll your foot, roll your foot, roll your foot. Don't roll it, just go on the ball of your foot and come back. On six, roll it. On seven, roll it. From this position, so the five, it's not going to be a rolling step. It's just this. I need to push myself backwards and so on. Backwards meaning from where I came. Many dancers will step on seven like this because it's natural. This is how we walk, okay? Heel first, bust. But when you dance, you have to roll, roll, roll. Ball of your foot, roll, roll, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this might be an excellent exercise for you to keep in mind that pauses on four and eight. Do it like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay? So from this position, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Practice it. Be sure that you're doing it like that and later you can adapt your steps and do them differently. Number two, knees bent a little bit. Always have your knees bend a little bit. Lord, you're here to bend the knee. Bend the knee. You have to have your knees a little bit bent. You cannot dance like this. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Don't go like this. This takes more time. It's more difficult. The girl will feel every shock that you do through your body, you transmit it to her. And also it's much more tiresome, okay? So always have your knees a little bit bent. I say, like in the other tutorials, that all of us have a natural click. 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 And this is where I dance. Tip number three. Always use your hips. Hips are not just a part of your body through which you walk, okay? Because you know the socket and the bones, whatnot. Use them in dancing also because if you follow tip number one and tip number two, you will feel unnatural if you don't move your hips and that will create like a very bad basic step for you. So always try to let loose your hips, follow the hips tutorial, hips exercises and try to move them, try to leave, try to leave your hips to balance yourself, okay? Because when you step, I'm exaggerating right now, you see that my hips help me balance myself and also make me look better and be more efficient in my dancing. So, let's recap. Roll the foot on the ground, bend your knees, always have a slight bend in your knees and move the hips, okay? Let all these three parts help your basic step and your entire dances. 
and everything else. And you got the idea. <laughs> Keep in mind that all these five points are very important. It's not one more important than other. They are all very important to become a better dancer. So tip number four, point number four, however you want to call it, it's about your posture. In salsa and even in bachata, you are not dancing like this, okay? You could, okay, but it should be a choice, not because you practice it like this and this is how you dance forever and ever. Because, you know, salsa comes from this, having a arched back a little bit, being more connected to the ground, okay, and so on. So, how do you do this? Stay straight, okay, put your shoulders back in their places, okay, so this is me being straight. Now, move your weight, shift your weight forward until you don't have any weight left on your heels, okay? So go forward until you can do this, watch my heels, okay? And then bend the knees and then arch a little bit forward so that you can be in balance. And this is kind of how you dance, okay? Always have this posture, okay? I am not saying go like this, Okay, but don't stand like this. Don't do ballroom dancing when you're salsa because it's something else. It's not salsa. Before tip number five, remember to subscribe, click the bell button and enable notification. Tip number five, in salsa always have your energy, your weight a little bit forward. I don't mean like weight how uh, you had it on tip number four, but like your energy, you are always going forward. Even if I'm exaggerating right, right now, even when I am doing like that five, okay? I'm not going back. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, two, three, five, six, seven. One, three, five, seven. One, three, five, seven. And so on. Always have that momentum forward. As a girl, will help you to follow better because the guy won't have to always pull you back, okay? When you go like this, okay? Or go like on the five. Guys, you will lead better, you will have a better flow. This is extraordinary for your flow, for your energy, for your dancing, to connect combos and whatnot. And think about it like this. Watch dancers and you will see them dancing like this. Okay? Having laid back. Having laid back. Being laid back. Okay? Like this. Okay? And it disrupts their flow. Always stay a little bit forward. It's like you're pushing yourself forward all the time. That's it for today. That's it for this lesson. Trust me, these are extraordinary tips and are very important. No matter the level of a dancer, trust me, the basics are the most important. And these are five things that you can do right now. You can practice in your apartment, in your home, on the street, wherever, when you're brushing your teeth, it will help you become better. Not the figures, not the combos, this stuff. So until next time, see you, subscribe, like, comment, share it with your friends and visit the new website. Bye-bye.